Hey Adrian Nelson here. So tarot life coaching. Um, people's always like Adrian, what is that about? Isn't tarot and life coaching sort of like two individual things? And in a sense they are, and in a sense they're actually not. So first of all with tarot, I've been doing tarot for about 20 years now. Um, I really, really love it. It's such an amazing tool. And I always think of tarot that has got 78 cards in the deck. I think of tarot really as a way of the universe communicating to us. So if the universe was able to send you an email, what would it actually say to you, you know? And that is really the way that I see tarot reading. So when you look at the English alphabet, for example, there's about, there's 26 letters in the English alphabet and it makes up all the writing in the world of all the knowledge that we have and all the knowledge that we ever had and all those type of things. Now imagine tarot's got three times the amount of letters, so to speak, in cards, like the ABCs. And it can actually tell you so much more, which is actually so amazing. Tarot is a tool of empowerment. A lot of times people feel that tarot tells the future. And in a sense it does, but let me explain to you exactly how that works. So life is just one big journey and tarot itself focuses or the energy of tarot focuses on that journey of life and where you currently are within that space of the journey of life. And it usually look at what is the past? How did you get to where you currently are? Now a lot of times as people, we feel we don't want to focus on the past at all. We don't want to look at it, we don't want to think about it, none of those type of things. But the simple truth is that whatever we decided in the past brought us to this current moment. And whatever you do or focus on and sort of like, you know, open yourself to it in this current moment, that is also what you experience as your future because the future doesn't exist yet. We are creating that from the current moment as we create the current moment from the past. So when we look at tarot, first of all, just straight off like that, you can see how you created certain experiences of life. Because if you think where you are right now, whether you're very happy, whether you're very sad, whether you're frustrated, you're feeling stuck, whatever's happening in your life, and if you're not doing all that well, I would also like to make use of this opportunity to from my heart to send you some love, to send you that just light and that connection that we are all connected because we are all an expression of source and we are having an experience of being individuals but we are all just one big beautiful incredible infinite expression of love of life from source of all which is the name that i choose to address by what would normally be more referred to as god so with tarot I want to encourage you just think about any problem that you had a year ago, absolutely any problem, it doesn't matter what it is. You had a problem, you couldn't see a solution. But here you are without that problem, so you did something that changed your energy, that changed your vibration, that aligned you with the solution that you were seeking. And sometimes when we have a problem, we think that there's no solution or we only see like one or two. But just because you don't see the solution doesn't mean that it's not there. And at any given point in time, we probably have about 50 solutions available to us or opportunities or possibilities. But based on our foundational truth in our subconscious mind, based on that, there is the determination of what you experience as your conscious experience of life. So if you think of any problem that you had about a year ago, and you found a solution, do yourself a favor, stop for a moment and really think about it. What did you do? What did you change within yourself? What thought pattern did you let go or what thought pattern did you adapt? How did you change your verbiage? Because you changed something that aligned you with the solution that was always there. Because just because we do not see the solution does not mean that the solution doesn't exist. All right, and I think that is the incredible thing with tarot. It looks at how did you get to where you are? What are your opportunities where you currently are? What are some of those fantastic opportunities that you might not even be aware of having where you currently are? What are some of the blockages that you might be having at the moment that either you don't want to face, can't face, not sure how to face, all those sort of things. That is really what tarot is fantastic about helping you with. Now, I've got two different options when it comes to booking a reading with me. 
One is a one hour reading, which is usually just a whole spread of cards. And I clarify that for you and I channel all the information that comes through and I just share that with you. The second option that I have is a two hour reading. Now with a two hour reading, I do all of that, but you get the opportunity to ask some questions and maybe share some NLP life coaching um, sort of like tips and things with you, some exercises that you can do, ways to change your mind um, in a sense of changing your vibration, interacting with the law of attraction. So you get the manifestation for what it is that your heart actually desires. And that is why I call it Terror Life Coaching, because I feel that there's no point in just kind of telling you boom, 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 hard fact, hard fact, hard fact. And but now how do you work through this? How do you how do you benefit from this? How do you find that happiness within yourself again? And one of the readings obviously that I get a lot of times is love readings. You know, everybody wants to know about love. And I remember there was a point on my YouTube channel, my Age and Great Life YouTube channel, where I normally do weekly zodiac readings for all the different signs, general readings. You're more than welcome to check that out. I used to do readings for like finances and health and all these type of things, but the thing that I came to find is that everybody really wants to know about love and because we are that beautiful expression of love, we are that beautiful expression of, of being and I think when we are really in love and we experience that beauty about love, it sort of opens things up for us, our world feels better and the wonderful thing about that is when you do experience that amazing euphoria which does come with love, it automatically raises your vibrations so a lot of desires of your heart can actually come true, you know. Obviously that being said, I don't just do readings for love, I do readings really for whatever it is that you would like to have. And if you are actually interested in learning how to read the tarot, I also have a detailed online tarot reading course which teaches you how to do that because tarot is about life. It is about the essence of life. It's about the law of attraction. Um, it's got 78 cards, which is all amazing and wonderful, but it is about so much more than just the cards. It's about life. It's about you. And if you are really interested in learning to read the tarot, then you might really benefit from the course itself. But if I do see you for one of my readings, for one of my personal readings, I really do look forward to that. Otherwise, you can watch my weekly readings on my Ancient Great Life YouTube channel. But from my heart, namaste, love and light. Thanks for watching.